Seriously, did you know these things were lip glosses? I did not. I purchased it not knowing it was a lip gloss because online purchasing and I'm just not sure. I mean, I have put this over the Jeffree Star um, Velour Lipstick in Venus Flytrap. And this is part of my Frankenlip for the September Lippy Challenge. But, I mean, it's a sticky green lip gloss. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you a project introduction. So this project is called The Pan is Pan and was created by Elizabeth who is Kooky Pants over on Instagram and I will have her link down below. So the concept of this project is to select approximately 10 panners within the panning community and to connect an item to them that you are going to pan. This is so we can, one, show honour to the others within our community, especially those that we admire, and two, so that hopefully that everyone else in the community will be able to find some great panners that they are not maybe aware of at this point. Now, I have decided to go with five. I'm doing five products. Well, actually, I'm doing six, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm doing five panning products products. One of them will be someone who is only on Instagram because we don't want those people to be missed out. The other four will be YouTubers and finally my sixth item, a bonus product I guess, I will also be doing one item that is for a YouTube channel or an Instagram that I follow that maybe does not have much to do with panning or if anything to do with panning at all. It might not even have to do with makeup. So I decided to do this because I thought that I could also then put in other YouTubers and Instagrammers who I personally follow, admire, um, enjoy to watch. And maybe you might find something else that might not be within the panning you know, realm that you are also interested in. Now, obviously, I'm only doing five panners at a time. Well, and six, six people at a time. So this is definitely not an exhaustive list. So this is also a rolling project with no end date. So it did start on the 1st of September. Yes, I'm a little bit late, but we get to work on a product, roll in a new channel or a new tuber or a new grammar or a new any other fangangled word that now gets used to represent people who have social media accounts um and we're gonna go from there that was a lot of information to take in so let's get started i will introduce um my six products that i'm going to be working on at this time and just so you know all details linked down below. So if there is anybody that you're interested in checking out, check them out down in the description box below. When sitting down to decide how I wanted to start this project, what panners I wanted to showcase first, I was really unsure of where to go because I have been maybe not active within this community for a long time, but I have watched for a long, long time. In fact, panning for me didn't come from a want to use up all my makeup I had or to downsize my collection. Panning for me actually come about because I wanted to be part of this community. For me, this community was so much fun to watch and panning in itself and doing the projects was just, just fun, just fun and friendly and I wanted to be a part of that. So that is what actually got me into panning. It didn't come from a need to get rid of, uh, use up my makeup as such. It come more from a need to be a part of a different community. I decided to start with the panners that really brought me into the community. The ones that first popped up on my YouTube while I was surfing the videos and the ones that really caught me hook, line and sinker. So let's start with our Instagrammer. And I could not go any further than the lady herself, 
kooky pants. So Elizabeth, I have been following her for a while and I have been enjoying a lot of the content that she puts out and the amount of effort she puts into her Instagram. So Elizabeth is fantastic at project ideas. She has come up with so many great ideas and I would love to join them all. Unfortunately, I, I could not achieve them all. No, 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 no. I would have to say that one of my currently favorite projects that she did create was the Dude You Panned My Battleship project or game or whatever you would like to call it. Now, I'm playing mine against Jalorn, so definitely check her out. I've got her link down below as well. And check out my Instagram if you're interested in how I'm going with that. But you may remember that I am in the process. There is black stuff all on the back of this. Of course there is. Um, but you may be aware that I am in the process of trying to hit pan on my Emco Beauty Just Peachy palette for that game. So far, I've done quite well with my pans, but I am not very close to getting um, a proper hit as of yet. But in honour of Kooky Pans, I decided to pick a shade from this palette. And I have picked this red shade, which it there is quite a dip already in there. But my goal is to hit a pan on this, which will hopefully, hopefully be a hit. But that is my product for Kooky Pans. Next up, I have decided to go with panning and stuff. So I started watching Rebecca quite a long time ago. I think she was doing a roulette pan collab video with 50 items and she went through and I think there was 18, 17 updates, 18 updates and a finale. Um, I watched all of them. So that is where I got hooked. She is a fantastic panner and most times, well more times than not, she is able to home run projects which is something that personally I have no no but I decided for Rebecca to go with the coconut body mist um the well the body shop coconut body mist from <sighs> words today you know I'm going with the coconut body mist from the body shop so currently I am up here, which can you see that line there? Maybe not, but that is where I currently am. I decided to go with this item because Rebecca has quite a um, perfume collection and she does tend to pan perfumes quite often, which I do actually enjoy watching. And I think it is because it's quite easy to see the product going down. So I decided to pick a perfume, well a body mist, in honour of Rebecca. And next up I have picked Joy from Joyful Beauty. So she has been a lot less active on her channel since having her second bubba, but that is very, very understandable. She is a massive nail polish user and her project polish definitely got me hooked. It made me want to run one of those projects, which if you've been watching any of my polish projects, you know that I am not the best at. And I tend to have naked nails more often than not. But she definitely got me hooked on this idea. So in honor of that, I've actually decided to roll in the Sally Hansen um, nail polish remover. You thought I was going to be silly enough to roll in a polish, didn't you? Well, I'm using a nail polish remover. So hopefully, um, well, this is where I am. And hopefully that will mean I might actually paint my nails more often because I'll have to remove the polish that's currently on them. <laughs> Next up, I'm talking about Natasha from Too Much Tash. So I have been watching her from the start. I do not know how I stumbled across her, but I was very much lucky enough to. And within her first video, she was talking about um, products that she had hit pan on. And one of the products she talked about was the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. As you can see, I am nowhere near hitting pan because this is completely brand new. 
But I have decided I'm going to roll this into the project, but my goal is only to use it 30 times. So Tash is lovely. Next up is Paula. Well, I wouldn't be now to do this video without including Paula on it. So Paula, for me personally, has really helped me within this community. She was so easy to talk to and she gave me so much information and insight into creating this channel and I'm very, very thankful for meeting her. Well, not in person, but virtually, virtually meeting her. So in honor of Paula, I have actually selected a shade from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Why? Because it is this beautiful purple. So I'm going to be working on Twinkle. And if you have been watching Paula for some time, you know purples and plums are her, well, her color. And this purple here, I think is quite similar to one that she had in her Baby Pan That palette. So I have decided to work on this and my goal is to hit pan. Now it's time for me to talk about the channel I've picked, which isn't really panning related. And that for today's video is Cora Diane, previously known as Vintage or Tacky. So if you do not follow Cora, please do. She has been off for a little while um, due to some health issues but she is starting to come back and she's actually putting in a lot of different content on her channel at this point not just beauty and fashion which I love because I like to see a little bit of more about what people are into and what goes on within their lives which is why I've decided to add these extra channels. Cora ends every video with the comment be your own kind of beautiful, which just hits home Cora and her channel in one go. So in honor of Cora, I've decided to go with the Rimmel Ink Me stamp tattoo in Star because she is a star. <laughs> and also because I love to wear these and I know that that can be kind of tacky maybe, um, but I absolutely love it. So I have decided to use this one. My goal for this is also to use it 30 times. So I guess you can understand that once I hit goal on one of these items, I will be rolling in another one. I'm not yet sure whether I'm going to do monthly updates or whether I'm going to do an update when I hit goal. But like um, others have said before me, it's a bit worrying if I don't have a you know, a date to work to, then maybe I'll just put these items off. I'm thinking I'm going to see how it goes. I might do monthly updates. I might do bi-monthly updates. We're just going to see how it goes, but expect more within this realm. So that's all I've got for you today. So I'm Verity. That was the introduction for the Panners Pan Project. And now to the outro. Mm -hmm.